Oh, all right, guys, before we get started, we need all the, the kids to back up off the fence, all right? We don't have a, a barrier here to keep everybody off the fence, so we want to make sure that everybody stays safe. Over here on this side, too, make sure you all don't lean on the fence or put your hands through it. How's everybody doing tonight? Yeah. All right, we got a nice crowd for opening night. We want to welcome you all here this evening to the 2014 Great Anderson Fair. My name is Bert, standing next to me is David. And between the two of us, we're going to try to show you and teach you a little bit about some alligators. We brought all the way from Florida. So on behalf of our company and all the sponsors here at the fair, we want to welcome you here to the Kachunga and the Alligator Show. We hope you're having a great time here at the fair. The show you're about to see tonight, it gets a little hype places we go. Thank you. As alligator wrestling. Well, in reality, gators don't know much about wrestling. In fact, if you give it the opportunity, it'd much rather just turn around and go in the other direction. That's true of all alligators, whether they're born in the wild or if they're raised in captivity. Our show got to start down in Florida over 30 years ago as a simple public awareness program. Back then, we'd take baby alligators and other animals out to the schools to try to help teach our kids down there a little bit about the environment. Since then, it's grown into the show you're about to see. We certainly hope you'll enjoy it. If you're an animal lover out there, you'll be happy to know no harm will come to the alligators during the course of our show. With our show, Dave and I get the chance to do a lot of traveling. We go all over the country to different fairs and festivals. As you can imagine, we can ask a lot of different questions about alligators. It seems to us the most commonly asked question that we get, especially coming from folks like you living here in the South, where we have alligators. That question is, why do these animals attack us? Well, I don't think there's been any recent attacks here in South Carolina, but in Florida, where we live, in the last 20 years, we've had about a dozen alligator attacks. Unfortunately, some of the attacks were fatal. There's usually one of three reasons that might cause an alligator to attack a person. If you're not really sure of the reasons, I'll quickly explain them to you. Then we'll send David to the water with the alligator. The first reason is when there's a female alligator. Now, as a mother, she's a very protective parent. She'll guard her nest and protect her babies against anything that gets too close. The second reason has to do with the larger male alligators. When these animals reach lengths of eight feet or longer, they tend to become very territorial. We call the big ones territorial bull gators. Now, what that means is a bull gator, it'll choose an area of swamp or section of a river as his territory. They'll mainly defend the territory against the other alligators that challenge them for the right to stay there. But when they get real big, they'll attack anything getting too close to them. That includes us. The third reason is the most dangerous reason. In some parts of South Carolina, mostly the coastal parts, but in Florida especially, alligators, they're everywhere. At last count, experts estimate we have well over, uh, close to 2 million of them living in the wild in the state of Florida alone. They occupy all of our lakes, rivers, ponds, and canals. All the fresh bodies of water south of here are likely home to alligators. But the fact that we have so many of them here really is not what makes them dangerous. The danger is when people start feeding the wild alligators that they see. When you feed a wild alligator, you teach it to stick around. It loses its natural fear that it has of humans, therefore making it a much more dangerous animal towards us. That's why it's illegal to feed the wild alligators. If you're caught feed one, it could be subject to a heavy fine. The laws they have help protect our wild alligators, but more importantly, the laws help protect all of us. So that's it. Three basic reasons why an alligator might attack a person. Other than that, these animals are actually really shy by nature. They'll usually leave people alone if we would just simply choose to leave them alone. All right, we got through all that. We come to my favorite part of the show. We get to send David to the water with the alligator. It'll be his job today to catch it, pick it up, bring him up here on the stage so we can show you more about him. So if we're doing that for you all, if you don't mind, let's give Dave here a nice big Anderson, South Carolina round of applause what he's about to do for me. That was pretty good, huh, Dave? You got a nice crowd out there. You know we like to get his applause up front in case he doesn't make it. The alligator you see here tonight's not a real big game. It's about between seven and eight foot in length. I say it's not that big because these animals, males like that, can eventually reach lengths of up to 14 feet. At that length, it can weigh well over a thousand pounds, so it has the potential to get really big. For the educational purpose of our show and to be able to pick him up, I'm sure Dave will agree. That gator's big enough. 
You may notice he has that wooden pole in his hand. Don't worry, guys, the pole's not a weapon. This never used to hurt the alligator. It's just a tool he uses to guide it, test its reflexes, see how fast it is. That's important. Alligators are reptiles. As a reptile, it is a cold-blooded animal. Now, if you're not really sure as what cold-blooded means, simply put, he has no way to regulate his body temperature. So when it gets cold outside, so does the alligator. His body temperature will drop, his metabolism slows, making him very stiff and sluggish and unable to move around well. But when it's hot outside, the opposite's true. They're much faster, they're more active, and they're harder to work with. That can change from day to day. The stick will help David find out how fast the alligator is for the show. So Dave, they're all waiting. Go get them. He's going to get closer to the alligator. As he does this, you'll start to see a real attitude change come over the animal. You might even hear him hiss. That hissing sound that he makes is one of the few sounds these animals can't create. It's a warning, and he's telling you you need to stay back. Getting too close. He's getting ready to attack. Dave, if you hear that hissing, disregard it. Hey guys, if you ever happen to wake up one morning here in South Carolina, you look out your yard, you find an alligator out there, you don't want it there, not sure what to do, we'll show you what you do to get rid of it. Show them, Dave. No, that's not it. You don't shoot them. That's illegal to shoot the wild alligators. You get in trouble. Here's what you can do. All right, try to sneak up behind them real quietly. <laughs> that's the front. Reach down and grab its tail. Once you've got it by the tail, you drag it to your neighbor's house and leave it there. I'm kidding, guys. These alligators are agile. Well, they can turn around and bite their own tail, which means they'll bite your hand even up as high as your elbow. That quick strike and turn around, you see the gator mate. That's the fastest motion they're capable of. They're so fast from side to side, they can even catch fish. But you know, we have been misled, some of us out there, on how fast they can run. They don't run as fast as you might have been told. In fact, guys, we had the opportunity to clock the alligator. It was running 12 miles an hour. Dave was in front doing 13. <laughs> that was a good race till Dave got tired. In the water, they swim pretty fast. They use that big, strong tail to push themselves through the water. It speeds up to 20 miles an hour. That's faster than a lot of small boats. We can't outswim them. But guys, when it comes to speed, nothing is as fast as the alligator's jaws. And to show you how the jaws work, Dave's going to get real close to him. Real close to him. Yeah, you're like 15 feet away. Closer. Now, as he approaches the alligator, it will open up its mouth real wide in self-defense. With the mouth open, David can take that pole. And he, no, not that. He can take it and pass it inside the alligator's jaws. And look, guys, nothing happens. The alligator doesn't bite it. The reason that's very simple. Look where his eyes are. They sit high on top of his head. He can't see inside of his mouth. But if something were to touch the inside of those jaws, you'd see a different reaction. So to show you all what I'm talking about, Dave's going to put his hand inside the gator's mouth. Come on, man. We got a big crowd. How about it, guys? You want to see Dave put his hand inside the gator's mouth? I'm not joking. Get your cameras out. He's going to show you how the jaws work. Put his hand in there. He'll then touch the bottom jaw and try to get his hand out for the jaw to snap shut. The little guy's over here off the fence. All four of you. All right? Little red shirt. Buddy, grab him. But don't let him hang on the fence. Thank you. All right, he's going to show you all how the jaws work. Get your cameras ready. Here we go. Yep, she's got her camera ready. Oh, that was pretty fast. He did it for you guys. Give him a nice big round of applause. Hey, did y'all get your pictures? No, Dave, do it again. <laughs> ah, never mind. He's going to go ahead and catch the alligator. Bring him up here. He's got one of two ways to do this. One way is to go to the front of him. Pin his head back. Grab a hold of the jaws. Hold on to it as it thrashes, rolls, and tries to bite. Another way is to try to get behind him and quickly dive down on his back. Either one is just as dangerous. He'll use whichever technique he's most comfortable with. Or, 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 or whichever one the alligator allows. Go keep it out in the middle. And there's the back technique, guys. Give him a nice big round of applause. That's an easy one. That's a big one. Eight foot long. Come on, guys. Help him out. Here, Dave. Hand it to me. Now, I don't want it. He's got to get those jaws shut. And that's how you do it, guys. Give him a nice big round of applause. Hold on to that thing. Hey, fellas, can you hop down off the stage?
stairs for me? Guys, off the stairs. Thank you. All right. With the alligator up here, we can show you more about him. Right here at the end of the snout, there's two little holes if you can see him. That's his nose. That's what he breathes through. When they go underneath the water, they can hold their breath for over an hour. His eyes sit high on top of his head. And that allows the alligator to sneak up on its prey. It'll keep his big body hidden underneath the surface. Just the eyes and the nose will stick up above. These eyes are unique. If the alligator senses danger near them, he can roll his eyes down into his skull for their protection. When the danger passes, look, the eyes, they pop right back up, and then the gate, and then the gate will, then the gate, get, stop that. Then the gate will swim off and go about its business. Directly behind the eyes is a very small brain. The gator has one just like it. On either side of the brain are where the ears are found. Normally you don't see them. They lay underneath a thick flap of skin. Lifting the flap, you can see down into its ear. They have an excellent sense of hearing. They use their hearing along with their eyesight as they swim up and down the waterways at night. They watch and listen for any small animal that might get a little too close to the water's edge. During the daytime, you usually see the alligators just laying out sunning themselves. But if you see one eating, you might see meaning small mammals like raccoons, possums, and armadillos. They also eat a lot of fish, wading birds, and other reptiles like smaller gators, snakes, and turtles. Now you might be wondering, how do they eat turtles? How do they crack those thick shells? Well, you saw it a few moments ago when that gator snapped his jaws down. They bite with a pressure of about 2,000 pounds per square inch of force. They have no problem cracking a turtle shell. Now with that in mind, Dave is going to open the alligator's mouth for you so you get a good look at the inside of its jaws. As he gets the jaws open, you'll be able to take a look in the back of the gator's throat. You'll see there's no hole back there. Whoa, get him back open. Careful. You'll see there's no hole in the back, no throat opening. It's covered by a small half-moon shaped flap of skin. Can you guys see it? No? Hey, point it out. The flap blocks off the airway so the gator can bite under the water with as much pressure as it can above the water. You also see the teeth. They have up to 80 teeth in their mouth, 40 on the top jaw and 40 on the bottom. The teeth are sharp and pointed. They're not blunt. Blunt teeth like ours are made for chewing. They don't chew their food. They swallow everything whole. If the alligator bites something too big to swallow whole, he'll tear it up, biting into it, shaking his head from side to side, or death rolling over and over until he rips off a piece he can swallow. How about it, guys? We'll give David a nice big round of applause for getting the gator's mouth up for you. He's keeping his fingers. Yay, because he's not done. Nope. I saw some cameras out there. You might want to get them out and ready. He's going to try to perform something for you that was first developed by the Seminole Indians down in the state of Florida almost 200 years ago. Now the Seminoles, they'd go out to Everglades swamps and they would catch these alligators. Sometimes they wanted to bring one back to their camp alive. They didn't want to kill it. Now the only way to do that is to tie the animal's mouth shut so he can't bite you or bite anybody else. But it's a lot easier to tie the gator's jaw shut if you have some help. While you're sitting on the back of the gator, holding onto the jaws, you cry out for help and maybe your partner will come out with some rope and tie it around the jaws. Are you going to cry? Out? <laughs> well, I'm not helping. Sometimes they had to figure out a way to hold the mouth shut and tie the jaw shut all by themselves. They didn't want to let go of those powerful jaws. Well, we're not sure which Indian came up with this, but it's totally awesome. It's called bulldogging, and how it's done is by taking the gator's jaws and placing them between your chin and chest to hold them shut. You then let go, grab a rope, and tie it around the jaws. Now, he's not going to tie the jaws shut. For your pictures, he'll let go and have his arms outspread. Get your cameras ready. This is the bulldogging technique. And hold it, Dave. Be careful. And there's... There's your shot. Hold it, Dave. Hold it. Say cheese. <laughs> then real quick, if you had a rope, you could take it tight around the jaws, and that's the bulldog you technique. Have another nice big round of applause for Dave. He's working hard for you all. You know, Dave used to have a double chin. <laughs> Hey guys, before we go on to the last part of the show, real quickly, you know, Dave and I, we came up here from Florida all the way from Tampa with our alligators to try to show you and teach you a little about these incredible animals. We have a lot of fun with our show, but living here in South Carolina, there's some gators here in this state. If you see one, kids especially, you guys, don't ever try to catch one or do what you've watched David do here tonight. Keep in mind, Dave's a professional alligator handler. He's been working with these animals for most of his life, and he knows exactly what he's doing when he's around them. 
still, every once in a while, he has slipped up. He's been bit. He's been very fortunate in his career, and he hasn't been seriously hurt. An alligator this size can tear your armory leg right off your body. So kids, adults, if you see one, respect him. Stay a safe distance away. Many of you may have noticed by now that I carry with me a gun, like I do every time that David works with an alligator in the show. We get asked a lot of different questions about the gun. For all you animal lovers out there, I'll reassure you, it's only to be used in case of an extreme emergency. Like if the gator were to somehow get away from David, turn around and bite him, and there's just no way we could get it let go. It'd be very unfortunate. I'm sure most of you out there would understand. I'd have to shoot Dave. <laughs> Can't shoot the alligator. They're protected. Now to help us out the last part of our show, we need to get a brave volunteer up here. A little boy, a little girl, somebody just about bite size. I mean the right size. Sorry about that, kids. That little kids. Hey, guys, could you back up so I can get my volunteer up here? Yeah, I want to get a little kid. So they're going to come up the stairs over that way, I guess. Let's see here. Yeah, you... What about what about the little guy in the blue shirt with the Spider-Man shirt on, on his shirt? You want to come up here and help us out? All right, buddy, you're going to have to make your way over to the stairs over here. We got one. Folks, give this young man a nice big round of applause as he makes his way to the stage. Come on up here. Ah, good looking little fella, huh, Dave? What a shame. Stand right here. <laughs> How are you doing? Good. <laughs> no, you ain't. <laughs> What's your name? Tegan. Tegan? Folks, put your hands together for Tegan. He's going to help us out tonight. Right? Tegan, are you having fun here at the fair? Yes. Who are you here with? My mom, my dad, and my sisters. Mom and dad and sisters. Where's mom and dad? Are they out there? Can you point to them? Where are they at? There's mom right there. Hey, ma'am, how you doing? There's dad. I see you guys. All right. Hey, are you all having fun at the fair tonight? All right. Uh, I have a little insurance question for you. <laughs> Is our ball your son? Wow, that was quick, and she said she's got four. So what you're telling me is you don't need this one anymore, right? I don't mean that. Tegan, why don't you wave at Mom and Dad? You're up on stage. Wave real big. Say bye-bye. <laughs> no way, Mom. Tegan, you're pretty brave, you know that, for raising your hand, coming up here on stage with an alligator. Are you always this brave? Uh, I don't know, really. You don't know. Well, that's okay. Tonight, you get to show all these people just how brave you can be. Do you think you can do it? Yes, sir. Okay, we'll see soon. Hey, did you see David jump down on the back of the gator? He picked him up. He brought him up here on the stage. What did you think of that? That was awesome. It was awesome? You liked it, huh? What about the part when he put his hand in its mouth? He touched a jaw. He got his hand out real quick for those jaw snap shut down on him. Did you see that? That was fantastic. You liked it, huh? I'm glad you liked it. You know why? You're doing it. Tegan, dude, that's a joke. We would never want you to put your hand in the alligator's mouth, would we, Dave? No, of course not. Here's what we're, Here's what we're gonna do, all right? You and me, we're gonna walk to the back of the gator. There's no teeth back there. We're gonna pet it. That way you can tell all the people what the alligator feels like, all right? Okay. All right, now listen, you might be a little nervous. But you got nothing to be afraid of. You know why? Because it's just an alligator and it's scales. No, it's not just an alligator. It's an alligator can eat you. <laughs> but we're not going to let that happen. You know why? Because we have Dave over there. He's going to hold its mouth shut, all right, so he can't open his jaws. You're going to be perfectly safe. He's a professional, all right? Okay. <laughs> That's not professional. Tegan, do you go to school? Yes. What grade are you in? Second. You're in the second? You're in the second grade? Really? What a coincidence. That's the same grade he's in. <laughs> Tegan, what hand do you write with? My right. You're right-handed? This is your right hand? That's your favorite hand, the hand you throw a ball with and eat with and do most everything with? Yes. All right, Tegan, when you pet that alligator tonight... Use this one. You don't need this hand, do you? Uh, no. <laughs> you heard him, Mom. All right. You ready? You come with me. David, no mon monkey business. You hold that gator's mouth shut. I'm going to get the tail. All right. This Now he can't, he can't hit you with it. 
Now I want you to reach down and pat the back of the gator. Wrong hand! <laughs> Left hand, remember? Left hand. Pat the back there. All right. Now stand up. Tell, don't wipe that on your clothes. Oh, man, that's gross. Here, wipe it here. All right, man. What did the back of the alligator feel like? Awesome. It was scaly, too. It was scaly. It's hard. The back of the gator is covered with bony plates that stick up. They're called scoots. They help the alligator regulate its body temperature. They're like solar panels so it can collect heat from the sun. You're doing great, Tegan. One more time. Reach down and pet the side of the alligator. That's nice. All right, what's that part feel like? Smooth. Yeah, it is smooth. You got that stuff on your hands again. You know where to put it. All right. Hey, man, turn around. Tegan, the sides and belly of the alligator are very soft and smooth. That's why these animals were hunted to almost near extinction back in the 60s. They're hunted for their valuable leather. Today, they're no longer endangered. They're raised on farms for their hides and their meat. So, Tegan, you did it, man. What did you think of all this tonight? This was amazing. Amazing, huh? All right. Hey, I know you're going to go home. You're going to tell all your friends you got to come out to the fair and touch a big alligator. But they're probably not going to believe you, will they? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. You need some proof. Hey, check it out. Look back there. I've got a camera back there. I can take your picture over here with Kachunga and the alligator. I'll print it for you so you can take it home to show all your friends and family. What do you think? That is awesome. That's awesome. All right. Here's what you have to do for the picture, Tegan. Are you ready? I want you to very carefully, do not touch the alligator, step over his tail, just like I'm doing. That's right. Now, I need you to scoot closer to David. Scoot closer to David. I see what's going on here. You stop moving. You scoot closer and stop right there. That's good. And now, I want you to have a seat. Well, watch your tail. I want you to have a seat right on the back of the alligator. That's going to be a bit rough. Yeah, all the way down. He did it for you guys. Give him a nice big round of applause. Not you. Hold the mouth, man. That's not cool. I'm glad you didn't see that, Tegan. Mom did. She's mad at us now. All right, Tegan, you got yourself a good spot? Yeah. Are you comfortable? Yeah. Are you ready for your picture? Yeah. All right, Dave, go get the camera. <laughs> yeah, right. That's a joke. Is it funny? Yes. <laughs> Thanks. We can't send him to get the camera, can we? No. No, do you know why? The alligator will turn right back and he'll let him. No, he doesn't know how to use a camera, so I'll go get it. I need you to stay real still and don't move, all right? I'm not going to be here to hold the tail. If the gator feels you wiggling around, he's going to swing his tail and throw you out into the crowd. So don't move, all right? Don't move, all right? <laughs> if you feel the gator moving underneath you, quickly jump off his back, all right? Okay. And jump on Dave. All right, I'm going to go get the camera. Tegan, no moving. It's very important. <laughs> Tegan, no moving, all right? This is serious. What's going on? He's what? Young man, nobody likes a tattletale. I just sit still. <laughs> Okay, Tegan, are you ready for your picture? Dave, are you ready? All right, Dave, you know the deal. On the count of three, let go of the gator! <laughs> we couldn't scare this kid. How about a guy just give him a nice big round of applause? We almost got him. All right, I've got your picture. I'm going to print it for you so you can take it home. Did you have fun? Yes. You did a great job. That'll be $14.50. I'm just kidding, man. All right, hey guys, let's give him another nice big round of applause. He's very brave. Take a bow, man. They're clapping for you. All right, all right. Everybody off the fence over here, boys. Get your hands off of it. Hey, you. Yeah, back off the fence. He's going to put the gator back down in the water, but uh, don't leave. We have something really cool to show you. Everybody make sure you keep the kids away from the fence for us. We don't have a perimeter barrier set up just yet. He's going to hop off the back just like that. And he worked hard for you all. Give him a nice big round of applause. Kachunga and the alligator. 
All right. All right, Tegan, you come over here, stand next to Dave. Dave, hold him. Make sure he doesn't run. <laughs> All right, guys, we've got some baby alligators we're going to pull out here. Check these little guys out. This is a baby alligator. He's about two years old and uh, about two foot long. We have a little bands that we're going to put around their mouth so they can't bite. We're going to give Tegan another picture, let him hold the little alligator. This time we won't try to scare him, but uh, we'll let him hold that little gator. Give him another picture for being part of our show. We do have another one here. Some of you have probably never seen one quite like this. That's because he is an albino alligator. Oh, nice. Albinism is a genetic mutation which causes the animal not to be able to produce its dark color in its skin. Because of that, he is all white and he would never survive out there in the wild. He would be eaten within hours or days of hatching. He'd also sunburn and go blind if he were to stay out there too long. But in captivity, he does pretty well. He does just fine. It's a very rare mutation for alligators. There's only about 100 albino alligators in the world. We're very fortunate to have this little one. He's still small enough that we can hold. We offer photos with our baby alligators to everybody. Kids, if you'd like to get a picture tonight holding one of our little alligators, ask your moms or dads. The photos are $10. If they say it's all right, you'd like to get a picture, you can line up over here on this side of the stage. We'll bring you up, we'll let you hold the little alligator, and we'll take your picture. If you have more than one child, they can all be in the same picture, uh, each holding an alligator. We don't charge anything extra. It's just $10 for the picture. It comes out as a nice 5x7 uh, color picture. So if you like one of those, see us right over here on this side of the stage. On behalf of all the sponsors here at the fair, our brave volunteer, Tegan, and our company, Wildlife Entertainment and Education. Thank you for coming out. We hope you join our show. Have a great evening here at the Great Anderson Fair. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you very much. Make sure you stay off that fence. Do not put anything through there. And we'll get started with our photos as soon as David gets our big gator secured. Come on over here, Tegan. Get up on the wall. We'll take your picture. You'll line up over here on this side for the photos. You'll exit on this side where the pictures come out of that printer.